We kicked things off on this first day in the beautiful city of Milan with the IPC co-chair Alfonso Pagani and chair of the local organizing committee, Professor Erasmo Carrera. First of all, thanks to you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Alessandro. So, Professor Carrera, let's start with how beneficial it is to the Italian associations of aeronautics and astronautics to have Milan as the host city for IAC this year. Yeah, okay. As an association of aeronautics and astronautics, we are always pleased to host uh, this kind of event in, in Italy. And uh, IAC is really a very big event and uh, there are not so many places in Italy where you can host it. Milano is a wonderful place to make it. There's a, a also a very strong tradition in uh, aerospace uh, for education point of, point of view. Also many companies are from the area of Lombardy. Professor, I want to also ask you uh, a question about the team of uh, this year's Congress that is the responsible space for sustainability. So uh, can you elaborate on what that looks like and uh, uh, what does sustainability mean when it comes to space exploration? You have to make something sustainable, you need actions to make it. Because everyone can say we have so many debris around our earth, Okay, this is a sustainable team, but you need an action to make it. And to make an action, you sh should become responsible. Then, then is uh, the key point. And uh, we are put this on the table because you see, is someone really take an action to, to do something for the sustainability in space? And this is why we are pressing this. And we are discussing a lot in so many events, not only sustainability, but responsibility, and in fact, it was uh, one of the first events in this uh, 10 days space event here in Milano was by United Nations and was only devoted to sustainability. And uh, their all to a conclusion were that you need political action to, to, to do something at that. Yeah. Very interesting point. So, uh, Alfonso, we see more and more private entities and commercial players uh, entering the space uh, exploration game. So, uh, what are the overcrowding risks associated with so many active participants in space exploration? Yeah, uh, well, we received uh, interest and in abstracts, for example, for 120 countries here, and more than 500 companies are attending our, uh, the, the exposition. So we have uh, a clear overview on what the interest on space is at the moment. And uh, it's not just big players, as you said. There are many private pro companies, many SMEs, so small, medium enterprises, uh, many coming from uh, developed countries, many coming from emerging countries. Now, uh, responsibility and sustainability comes with a cost, which we must, we must be prepared to, to pay, <laughs> of course. Uh, but yes, what we need is rules and, and, and uh, use it, uh, the, the space in a responsible manner to not um, make pollution, to, 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 to explore the universe in the proper way and to avoid the mistakes we are doing maybe on Earth. So uh, what's on top for attendees this week? Uh, what do you hope people will gain from this Congress? Yeah, as we said, this is the best place to be if you are passionate about space. Uh, ISC will host uh, a lot of events. Of course, we will have uh, very exciting planner events. Uh, we will have uh, heads of agencies uh, running through panel, very interesting panel sessions. We will have most important scientists in the world discussing the most exciting missions. Uh, Euclid unveiling the dark matter in the universe. We will have, uh, we will discuss about our Artemis program and how we plan to, uh, to, to explore Mars and Moon in a sustainable way. Yeah, Pretty this is nice. the place to be. So thank you so much and good luck for the thank rest you. of the week. Thank you very thank much. You to you. Thank you. Thank you.